Hello everyone, my name is Joey Nenny. I'm going to show you how to create a sample Kraken application using the PPAS Service Core client to connect to PPAS APIs. The first thing you're going to want to do is go to GitHub and locate the PPAS sample app repository. Then you're going to want to copy the clone URL to your clipboard. Open your favorite terminal, type in git clone, and paste the clone URL. This should take a little bit of time, but as soon as it's done, you're going to want to change directory into the sample app directory. Then you'll want to install all of the required packages using npm install. Once npm install finishes, you can go ahead and install the service core and ppass modules. As soon as these two modules are installed, go ahead and open the project in your favorite editor. We're going to try and create a list of invoices for as an application. The first thing to do is create an invoices controller. I've already created a blank file here. Then you're going to want to go to the PPAS website, explore the APIs, and find the API that you want to use. Here's invoices. Here's a list of operations for the invoices API. The one we're looking for is a list of all invoices, right here. The two things you're going to want to take note are the service name and the scopes. Let's go ahead and copy the service name and go back to our editor. To create a controller, it's quite simple. You're going to want to require in the service core module. Then we're going to create a PPAS service core client for invoices. It's very simple. Service core create PPAS. Find the service name from the website and paste it in. We're going to go back to the website and locate the scopes and copy those to our clipboard. Let's head back to our editor and add the scopes to the invoices client. Then we're going to create the express controller. Now we have our express controller set up. Let's go ahead and invoke our invoices client and make a request to get a list of invoices. It's a method get. And if we head back to the website, we can see that its path is v1 invoicing slash invoices. Let's go ahead and enter that here. Add a callback. and simply render a template using the data from the callback. Now for this example, I've already created an invoices index dust file. It's a simple table showing the invoice number, status, invoice date, amount, and notes. Now we need to go to our routes index file. We're going to want to include the new invoices controller that we created. Then we're going to want to set a route to it, let's say slash invoices. Make sure that login is required since we need a user to show a list of invoices for. And then include our invoices controller. The last thing we're going to do is make sure that after login we're successfully redirected to our new invoices page. Here. Go back to your terminal, start the server 
with node dot open your browser navigate to localhost 8000 slash sample app you'll be prompted with this login page you're just going to log in with any test login user that you have we're going to use sparta at paypal.com password is eight ones and we'll log in this should redirect us to our sample app invoices page here we are now you can see it got a list of invoices I rendered them through the dust file and you have a final invoices page